What's going on guys? It's time for a brand new video. New year, new video. Already he already has cancer. So he got some fog lamps and he, the headlights I gave him weren't the prettiest and they kind of don't work very well. So we're clear coating him today. He's already sanded them. It's over there. And he bought these thick fog lamps. He wanted to get the square ones, but they didn't have them and they were $20 for one. These were $20 for two and they have two more LEDs. And they're bright as piss, so. You know, we're on a budget now since YouTube took my ad revenue, fuckers. So Dude, think there. about it. It doesn't matter, I can cuss now. I don't need to do family friendly content. Fuck that shit. So we're doing a giveaway, okay? We're giving away that cop car right there to one lucky alcoholic. All you gotta do is subscribe and press that like button. So right now we're mocking up where we're gonna mount these. They fit pretty good, but we have to cut these little holes out because in the 90s they didn't give you the uh, the hole to make you look like you go faster. Like Jolly's car. <laughs> he just has one big hole now since we took the little grill piece out and the fog lamps. The car is just really excited to see him, that's all. It's like, wow, <laughs> you took my insides out. Oof. So yeah, I think we're probably gonna end up cutting right here, all the way around, popping that out. And it should look pretty good. Point them into the car, now we can see inside. Yeah, dude. Look at this Mako quality paint right here. I'm gonna have to make a part two to the Mako video. I don't know why people keep taking their fucking cars. Too. Yeah, Mako is horrible. It's cheap, man. Look at this. Ooh, this is gonna be a great video. 20,000 views for the second time. All right, so we're gonna start marking some stuff out and I'll come back with better content. Well, we got one hole done, kind of. We gotta finish around these corners. But, so there's a little before and after. The bumper came off in like five seconds. This is taking 20 minutes. So he's already drilled some holes. That looks way better. That literally looks like the soldier cars. So I'm guessing in the newer years, they literally just took this out and oh yeah this thing on the SE there's like a little thing like the GTR has and it comes around and it's black and then the rest of the bumper is like whatever color the car is so that's an option whenever you order the bumpers get the SE bumper looks way better I think the rears are all the same no they're not yeah get the SE body kit she's getting there And we're doing this with a grinder too, so like if you ever see like that, you know, after we smooth it out, it'll be good. But it's really hard to even fit the blade in here and smooth it out. So we're just working with what we got. We're gonna end up getting a Dremel and going over it. But for now, this is good. Whole goal was to at least get the fog lamps in, which is cool because there's like a bumper support over there, and that's what we're gonna connect the fog lamps to, like the stock car. Alright, so we just got this one sort of prepped. He's soaping it up right now. And we already did the other side, so we'll pow. This is just the first coat. Oh my god, and I did it like half assed. Like, damn. We were getting scared that, well, mainly him. I don't know. I uh, had it in the back of my head that they weren't going to look as good as mine, but I'm pretty sure these look better. I only used 600 for mine and 800. I did not 
I mean, I mean, we hit these for tw with uh, 1,200 for a minute. So, oh my God, they look so good. So yeah, 1,200, uh, two or three times. And he's just cleaning this one up. So yeah, we just used 91 rubbing alcohol, Dawn dish liquid in the sponge, paper towels, and clear coat. And sandpaper, good high quality sandpaper. God damn, that's the first coat raw me. That's <laughs> I didn't even mean for it to look that good. <laughs> you can kind of see like the haze and where it gets clear because there's water on it. But the haze is what it looks like when it's dry, and that's how he's been driving around. You know, and when you look at your car, it's like, damn, that doesn't look too good. Let me do a quick little check up on the bumper. This is this side. So we have the whole hole cut out. We're gonna touch it up, you know, around here and stuff, but we're doing it with what we got. We're gonna finish this one off. And then I guess we're mounting the fog lamps to here, like the stock, the stock fog lamps usually mount to here. So that, that'll look nice. And it will be nice to bolt in when he pulls his bumper off for whatever reason and still have his fog lamps on. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna hit these a second time. This looks sick. Okay, we're about to clear coat this one for the last coat and then start this one. So one more before and after. This is it completely cleaned but scuffed. All right, we have the holes in the bumper cut up for now until we get a Dremel. We've got both fog lamps mounted and wired in. I'm just gonna, you know, tuck the wiring and zip tie it up. And you know, they're even. They're completely. Um, and the headlights are clear coated. Okay. Ready? Boom. Full rally car. All right, guys, here it is. Look at that. They look great. These look so bad. I had destroyed them. Just gave them to my brother as a mock up headlight to get these in because this car used to be a two piece headlight. And now we have the one for the new year. The fog lamps look really good. They're not too noticeable. Uh, the holes in the bumper came out really good. We still have to go around with the Dremel. It does, like we've completely converted the whole front of this car into the newer year. Uh, we're gonna repaint the bumper and the whole car, but these headlights came out great. He is so happy with them, I'm happy with them. We still gotta wax them and knock them back and wet sand them. That's just, a, you know, this is fine. This is great, nobody's ever gonna see the little tiny bit of orange peel around the corners. I mean the slightest, you, you can't even see it unless like you are literally looking at it like really up close, but fog lamps look really good. They are so bright. Um, what was funny is that he had his low beams on and before he used to ride with his high beams on because you couldn't see the headlights, that's how hazed up they were. And he actually had people uh, flashing the lights at him because they thought he had his high beams on. But what, what I did is I wired the fog lamps into the high beams. So whenever he turns on his high beams, he has his fog lamps. So that's pretty much it. Car's coming out good. I guess thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.